I'm Kitty Cube and welcome back to Me Mondays. So I just, it is at 5 o'clock p.m. on a Monday, Me Mondays of course, and I just completed my 13th day of consecutive work. That's right, you heard it here folks, I've been working for 13 days straight, no days off. I mean I've had scheduled days off but then I would just have to get called in and have to work for another day and actually just even today when I was working the, the today shift my manager is like so yeah I have work tomorrow of course <laughs> and she's like yeah I'll text you if I need you to come in early I'm like oh okay I'm already working an eight hour shift tomorrow so I'm like oh called in early okay <laughs> yeah this <laughs> I'm getting paid a lot of money, to say at least. <laughs> I'm, that's, like my, every time she always keeps calling me in for early. I'm in my, my body's like, no, more work. But my brain's like, yes, more money. <laughs> I, it's a weird dedication to my job that I just, I can't say no when I'm offered more hours, especially on days of my days off. But I just, I desperately need a day off. But hopefully I will have a weekend. Um, get Friday and Saturday off. Wait, I mean, hopefully that still stays true. The very end at least. But for right now it's, I have three more days of work. So in total, I would have worked 16 days in a row with no days off. And I mean, yeah, I get it. Like some people have this lifestyle as well. Like I'm not much different from working from day to day. But like, just having to deal with the same people and the same customers every single day, I just get so tired of it <laughs> that I've reached this point. It it dawned on me this one day at work. This lady came up to me and she's like, "I like an onion bagel toasted." And I'm like, yeah, sure, cool, I, I, rang, I rang her up and whatnot. And then she went off by, like, how yesterday she had an onion bagel toasted with cream cheese. And she just kept going on about how sour and bad the cream cheese were, was. And at that moment, I was like, wow, I, I don't care. Like, I was just like, I wasn't even at work that, in the day when she got that bagel. I didn't make the bagel. I didn't ring up the bagel. And I was like, why, why are you complaining to me about it? Like, what, I, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, for one, because, like, I'm a vegan, so I wouldn't even eat the kimchi. So, like, I, you know, from that front, I don't care. But just, like, it's just, like, wow, that, I seriously don't care. <laughs> and I'm just, I just, I just look at her with a straight face, just waiting for her to pay me. And then, like, okay, bye. And I was just, like, wow, I, I lost all care. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to hold this in one hand and balance it. My arms are tired. My legs are tired. You already know. You see my sweaty face. I'm tired. But it's just, I was just like, it just like hit me. I was like, wow. Wow. And then later on that day, all this kid asked for like, uh, medium iced coffee and he wanted sugar in it. But I wrote down to Splenda. It was like, oh, like I didn't know, realize at the time, but like he came back with a coffee two minutes later and he's like, yeah, I want sugar in this. And then it just hit me again. Like, that's, it's so insignificant. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's splendid, but it's still sugar. I, I, you honestly really can't tell the difference if it's in a medium iced coffee. Like, I, I'm like, that's, but yet he was so, honed in on trying to make sure that his order was done very properly and correct but it's like sugar splint well, there's no difference i it's just amazing me how like some people are just like so stuck on just these tiny little things and like i'm it blows my mind and like i'm like wow <laughs> wow and like whatever time like sometimes it gets rough work and I just, I just think to myself, like, it's just, just coffee and donuts. 
it's just coffee and donuts. That's all it is. It needs nothing in a large scale of the world. It's so, so tiny in middle school. I'm like, all these people are so focused on these tiny little things that go wrong. I'm like, wow, what, <laughs> what is what's going on? And like, but then like, I don't care. You know, I'm, I'm the one getting paid here, so I, I'm doing my job to the best of my ability. No matter how tired I am right now, I am trying very hard. Also trying very hard to hold up the camera. It's heavy. <laughs> it's the Samsung Galaxy S7. It's so heavy. The phones are just getting big. Also, another thing <laughs> before I have to scan people's phones to, so they can pay. Some people have giant phones that are bigger than one that I have in my head. And I'm like, the maze. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, how is... What happened? Where wasn't there like a point in the world where we're trying to make phones smaller, but now we made them bigger. I don't know how we went backwards in time, and it's like I'm sure there's like a there's like a scale of like how big phones were, and then it kind of shrank, and then it regrew back again. And I'm like, that's interesting how the how that happened. <laughs> well, I mean, I've talked on for long enough about you know work. I'm tired. This is my lame excuse for a video. It's fine. I, I just want to take a shower, go to bed. You know, the usual stuff. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. So, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> if you like this kind of content, me just babbling on for like six minutes. Alright, I'm going to go. Bye.